Hey, what's going on, Doc and fam? Welcome back to Oh the Hermanity. If you've been enjoying my videos, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to raise the super attack of Indomitable Resolve Android 17 from 1 to 10 without using any Elder Kai's. Now, if you missed any of my other videos showing how to boost the super attack of other units, I will post a link to the entire playlist in the end cards at the end of this video. So make sure you watch until the very end. So let's jump right in, guys. So here we go. We got Android 17, Indomitable Resolve. Let's take a look at what he can do. And another really good thing about this unit uh, is that he does have a TUR, and we're going to go over the stats for both of those right now. So you know what you're putting your time into. There's no point in grinding out the super attack of units if you're never going to use them unless you're me and you're a completionist <laughs> so check it out leader skill uh, tech type key plus two in HP and defense plus 70% uh, his super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack for six turns which is really good and then his passive skill attack and defense plus 50% as well as plus an additional attack plus 12% per tech key sphere obtained that can make this unit very powerful, especially if you're using orb changers. Now, when you TUR this unit, he turns into quietly burning spirit Android 17. And there's a few changes that happened. Uh, before, it was just HP and defense plus 70%. Yep. Now we got HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack stays the same, causes supreme damage to enemy and raises attack for 6 turns, but his passive skill does get a boost as well. Now his attack and defense is plus 70%, where before it was plus 50%, and now he has an additional attack plus 15% as well as defense plus 10% per tech key sphere obtained. In his base form, he only gets attack plus 12% per tech key sphere obtained. So he gets quite the significant boost once you TUR him. However, before you TUR this unit, you have got to get his super attack to 10 or else this isn't going to work out too well for you because in case you don't know, when using other characters to boost the super attack of your main unit, the percentage drops depending on how um, activated your, your main unit is. And we'll go over that right now. So the character that you need is this one right here, Warrior's Duty Android 17. This is a drop unit that you can grind quite easily. Uh, he's actually a pretty good unit on his own as well. His leader skill, Universe Survival Saga, Category Key Plus 2 as well as HP attack and defense plus 40%. Uh, he causes supreme damage to enemy and lowers attack. And then his passive skill is attack plus 10% per key sphere obtained. And he also has a high chance to seal the attacked enemy super attack for two turns. So if you're constantly getting super attacked and, and destroyed as you play Dokken, this is actually a pretty good unit for you to have. So. I would recommend getting this unit, um, grinding him out to Super Attack 10, opening all four hidden paths before starting uh, to get the, the drop units for your Indomitable Resolve Android 17, because in my opinion, I think you should have both. I mean, why not? Especially when a unit's really good, guys, it's, it's definitely worth grinding them out. And of course, you get him from this event right here, uh, Universe Survival Saga, Final Battle of the Tournament of Power. And then the actual stage that you have to do, I'll pull up really quick. Let's go to the main screen, event. Let's go to story right here. And then it's number six, Topo, God of Destruction, Cometh. Now, guys, make sure when you do these events, always read the info to ensure that you are maximizing your percentages uh, for drop units. So if we scroll down here, we can see that the more characters from the Universe Survival Saga category on your team, the higher your chance of getting bonus rewards in this event. So I've gotten drops like four at a time doing this event with my team. And I'm not going to do the event, but I'm going to show you my team really quick. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're bringing an LR Goku and Frieza. So I'm going to pick a friend right here. Now, I don't have LR Goku and Frieza, but these are the units that I am bringing. Uh, and if I click on Effect, you'll see that mine's at 185%. If I had LR Goku and Frieza, it hurts to say if, because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> if I had LR Goku and Frieza as my team leader, 
this would actually be 195%. So it would be quite high. All right. Now, time to actually boost the super attack. So what we're going to do is click on Android 17 right here. And then he's not, like I said, he's not in his TUR state. If yours is in TUR, you're going to have to reverse it. But the unit that you need, we already talked about, is this one right here. So Warriors Duty Android 17. And as you can see, in the SSR form, it's only a 50% chance. Um, and if you want to spend the medals to get him to the UR form, it's a 100% chance. Now, whenever you can get drop units that are in SSR form and automatically give you a 50% chance, in my opinion, it is never worth putting medals into them because if you do three at a time, so what I do, I only have two right here, uh, but what I normally do is do three 50% units at a time, and nine times out of 10, I'll get either one or a plus three for the super attack. So, like I said, in my opinion, it's not worth doing that. However, for this video, I'm gonna do it, because <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what medals you need. <laughs> so let's go to Awaken. Click on this Android 17. So in order to awaken this unit to the UR level for 100% chance, you need 50 Dr. Giro, uh, 20 Master Shen, you need 10 Kami, and then you need three West Kais, and then you need one Elder Kai. And this is why it, it gets crazy, because you never want to waste Elder Kai medals, because they're very, they're not difficult to get, but they're not as common to get as all the other medals. So you want to make sure you always have a bunch of those in stock. I have 15, so I don't mind doing this with you guys right now. Boom. So SSR to the UR level. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to training. We're going to click on our tech Android 17. And then we're going to boost his super attack and max him out at 10. Nice. And then now what we're going to do together, now that his super attack is at 10, is we are going to TUR this unit. Uh, and in order to TUR this unit, guys, you have to collect medals. And those medals you get, once again, from this event. Okay, so you can go on the info section and see what stage you have to go to in order to get these medals. But you will have to collect uh, 20 of each. Now, the reason why it says only 10 is because his sister, Android 18, takes 10 of the same exact medals. So, in my opinion, even if you don't have Android 17, I mean Android 18, just grind out 20 medals because when the event disappears, you're going to be pissed that you don't have the medals to TUR that unit. So, grind out 20, uh, but it only takes 10 per, um, per medal per unit. So, let's dock and awaken. Nice, and there you have it guys. That is how you raise the super attack of Indomitable Resolve Android 17 from 1 to 10 without using any Elder Kai's. If you enjoyed the video, please show that love by clicking that like button. And if you want to make sure you never miss any future videos from me, give that notification bell a click as well. And as promised, I will post a link to the entire playlist of all my super attack boosting videos after I'm done talking in the end screens. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.